we go guys round two my goal again now is to get my car back up on jack stands um i've already got the cold air intake out um so just gotta get it up i'm gonna try to get the belly pan out once that's out then i can drain the radiator fluid and then the next goal trying to get this off again and then trying to work out the routing of this uh, i did order a few things i'll show you guys what they are um, so what I did was I'll set this on the floor so I can kind of show you. Okay. So imagine this is the radiator down, down here. Sorry. And this is the top of it. So I think what I'm going to have to do is probably cut this. So everyone asked me where did I get the drawn renders of my car. Well, check no further than PGR Studios. I'll have a link in my description. He's done some amazing work for me. He can do some amazing work for you. Simply hit him up through his website or the, his IG. All right, guys. So this will connect to the top of the radiator. And this end down here will pretty much snake down through like that. When it's at that lowest point, it's actually be parallel with that. So what I'm thinking is all I need to do is cut this hose about here and maybe trim this side down and this should go over the radiator now i actually bought another another cold cable or not cable hose um if you look and you look up a gt350 50 any of those this hose looks different the original hose the original hose snakes back and then snakes back towards me now I don't know why this was changed. I'm not sure, but that's how that's, that, that will work. So that's kind of where I'm at, guys. Um, so I'll let you guys know what's going on with the second round. But uh, once I get done with this, I'll let you guys know. But pretty much the 10 rib kits installed, all that's done. I just got to fix this one hose. If this doesn't work and we get frustrated with it, uh, I guess I can take off the alternator delete kit and uh, run just a straight Whipple 10 rib kit. Uh, maybe I could talk to Beefcake and say, hey, this didn't work. Maybe they'll let me return it. I hope that's not the case. I like to keep the way this is. I think this is better set up and more with it. Um, I think I can get this working, so we'll do, we'll do that. But if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Actually, it does not take as long as I thought. I thought this was going to take a lot longer. Got the belly pan off. You probably see it behind me. Um, got the hose. So this is the actual hose that was on there. Um, let's see, where is the mark? So this is the marks that my alternator were leaving. I uh, didn't get through it, but it definitely uh, caused the thing to fuck around and find out. Let's see if I can show. Okay. So this belt, you can clearly see, completely misses the alternator. I mean, you can get your whole hand down here. This is the other one that I bought. So this would connect them like that. I see how that kind of goes there. So I'm going to have to cut this somewhere in here and somewhere over in here. I'm going to have to probably put those on and then try to figure out where I want those to mate up at. But I think that's it. I think uh, I think the hot sauce might be running again. I might have this done tonight. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I wish I would have thought about this when we were putting this back together. Maybe we'd done this earlier. But, you know, that's running in a car. So that is what it is. All right, guys, uh, I will uh, send you guys another update when I figure this out. Guys, uh, so I was able to custom make the hose that I needed. Uh, I'll get it installed and show you guys what it looks like. But uh, yeah, if you guys get that S hose, you're going to have to create a little 90 degree elbow like this. Uh, I have pictures of it. I'll show you what I did and how I bought it and where I bought it from. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys if you guys are in my same boat. Uh, let me know. Thanks.